Okay, so um, I like this background because it's spazzy and I can move around and it, it looks like my, you know, this, I'm, I'm some warbly um, creature. So here I am again, uh, the non-TikToker, and I'm trying to find out a best place to put my floating head. I'm hashtagging myself as neurodiverse, as autistic, as a constrained writer, um, a constrained poet. Wapoli.com is my website, a uh, workshop of potential literature, and I've added a PS for postscript, uh, not, well, not really postscript, um, and other potential stuff. That's because some person stole Wapoli.com back in years and years and years ago and still hasn't posted a single thing on it. Uh, but um, Wapoli is similar to Olipio. If you ever heard of Olipio, it is French. I do not know what it stands for because it's French, but it's basically constrained literature like N plus seven. Um, I will have an N plus seven example, but Wapoli gives you the different formulas. So most poetry is constrained poetry, sonnets, rhyming sequence, A, B, B, A, A, B, A, B, A, B. Those are all constraints, okay? So some of my constraints, you can get really, really intricate, like constraint literature. I have a poem that is a palindrome. So one of the words in the poem, because it is a play, is the word said. And the main character's last name, their whole family is the Dias family. So Dennis Dias said Sind is, you know, in, in there. Um, so it's 777 words where you can read the whole play frontwards and black backwards. But I wanted to kind of angle my camera over here. It's here. Um, this is one I found in a desk drawer tonight. And it is a constrained poem. Um, first time it's seen the light of day since I wrote it. How, uh, who knows how many years ago. So uh, see if you can see the constraint in this. It says, in the white orchard. So that is the title of it. <laughs> Okay, let me start over. This is also why I prefer um, AI to talk for me. And British Emma is the only one that pronounces my name correct, which is Sally. Um, all other AI voices call me Sally. So it's S-A-L-I-E, Sally. So a lot of my, uh, a lot of my new TikTok posts use AI voice because I mess up all the time. So anyway, um, let me try this again. Alone as the midnight hours, towers above below me. Oh me, alone in a white orchard, tortured by memory. Remember beautiful eyes, lies fall silent on deaf ears. Fears, they say, adds to your age. Rage, they say, depletes the years. Tears, they say, blind bright eyes. Ties you to thoughts mistaken. Dying embers, cold ashes. Dashes hearts that are aching. Raking embers of cold dreams. Ashes in the white orchard, tortured by beautiful eyes, lies alone in winter's discord. Beautiful eyes, lies that fall on deaf ears, tears that are reflected in your age, rage blinds, bright eyes ties you down, and cold ashes dashes our hearts that are aching, raking in the white orchard, tortured by the memory of beautiful eyes, lies. So um, I'm going to, you know, here it is, midnight hours towers above below me oh me alone in a white orchard t white orchard tortured by memory beautiful eyes oh eyes fall upon deaf fears uh your age rage and so bright ties ties d dashes cold ashes dashes so you see that's the constraint in this poem. So a con all constraint is, is rules that the author has to follow. So I hope that helps explain the questions I'm getting about, you know, what, what, what's a constraint. Um, okay. So, um, if you've seen my prior video, you know, I'm not a TikToker. So this is the, um, half a century old, not TikToker, uh, TikToking and signing off.